All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. Sniper's Unknown Challenge 2020 is in the bag. We've done it. We did it. It was a hell of a workout throughout the whole thing. We learned a great deal in this experience. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm kind of happy it's over and done with. We can move on to things that I'm more accustomed to doing. But I will tell you this, man. What a great group of guys down there. Uh, the Sniper's Unknown guys, GTI. Uh, all the people who supported this, including the guys from McDill, uh, the guys out of Benning, you know, uh, it was just awesome to meet everybody from different walks of life, professional, uh, top tier shooters, world class uh, sniper shooters. And I will tell you this, I learned a tremendous amount of uh, information just from doing this thing. Um, what did I learn? Well, one, communication is key. Number two, have a game plan when it's down. But unfortunately, here's the problem. Unless you're doing this a lot and your team has practiced, uh, we kind of went into this cold. Uh, Israel 6 covered. Rick and I were uh, teammates. Uh, we haven't really done a whole lot together. We didn't have a really big game plan down. We kind of did, but realized that our game plan was not conducive to what was going on there. So let me explain to you what happened. So the sniper's unknown. The reason it's unknown, is, and then the reason you're not seeing a whole lot of video of us shooting is that there really wasn't time to set cameras up. There was no time for any of that. Uh, also, there was no one to videotape you. Um, for the most part, if it if you got tape of you shooting, and as a matter of fact, I think... Uh, uh, Ray, X-Ring, actually got video of us shooting the second stage of the day only because he had already shot it. And that's why they call it the unknown. Hitting targets is not the hard part. But finding the targets under a five-minute time frame, uh, getting your dope and engaging and in the sequence that they wanted you to engage. So the primary shooter on the first stage, he had to shoot three rounds. Then I had to shoot three rounds. He had to shoot three rounds. I had to shoot three rounds and multiple targets. It was a really unique way of setting it up. And it made it a little bit more challenging than it would be just to go, hey, guys, just shoot shit out of these targets. So in any case, uh, Rick and I uh, came in 38 out of 50 plus uh, shooters. Like I said, probably not excited about having that type of a low score, but uh, a little bit lower than my expectations. But you know what? Knowing what I know now, I'm okay with it. So anyway, here's some uh, video of us going through some of the brief stuff. You get to see the scenery and things like that. But again, imagine if you were to walk into or on an area of a roof and they say, your time starts now. Set it up, you have to range the targets and engage in less than five minutes. And you have to find these things. When we did find them, we shot them, we hit them. But we were sitting there going, I don't see nothing. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be right back at the end. Thanks. All right, guys, Good boy 32 here. Check it out. So I saw X Ring pull out his camera and start doing video. So, you know, I had to pull out my camera and start doing video. But anyway, we're all getting ready this morning. I got Ricky Poo over there. He's putting his environmentals in. They're going to be different in another hour. No big deal. We got the guys over here from Charlotte. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a fun day, man. This is GTI. This place is pretty impressive. So we're going to go out here, have a briefing real quick, and get on the range and do some shooting. Hopefully we'll hit something. All right, here we go. All right, so here we are. There's a whole bunch of group of guys back here. Boys right there. There's the, uh, the dudes from... We're, this is like Rick Four, right two. and uh, we're going to the tower, and uh, I think we're going to see the tower here in a second. It's going to come up in between those buildings right there. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The tower. Of course, they're going to take us the longest route around this son bitch. I've uh, I've ordered a uh, golf cart by Uber, uh, but I, it's not here yet. Damn Uber in the rural areas. Anyway, there's Freaky Poo if you can see him back there. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Seven big old industry level flights. The stairs, all the way down. Yeah, baby. We're parked on the stairs now. I can see the ghost. They're all around us. Oh, yeah. Big old air handler right there. Handling air. 
Feel free in it. So here we go. This will get your heart pumping. All right, here we go. We were done. Say hi, Rick. What's up, buddy? Yeah, buddy. Some shit, man. Oh. Woo. We are going to the top. There's the sun. All right. There we go. That's stage nine. Well, I'm just glad we're starting from the top. All right, hold on. Going in the darkness. And we're waiting here. And we're starting off on the top. So there's a heart rate, is yeah, my heart rate's on 117 right now. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. This shit never changes. I'm at 340. <laughs> oh, we got to climb through a tunnel right now. Climb down and Great. We'll see you guys. All right, so here we are. This is uh, first stage of the day, stage four. And uh, we're up on the roof level of this thing. Rick, how do you think you did on that first one? Uh, first stage is always tough being the first ones out. Yeah, we were the first ones called on. And uh, I'll be honest with you, we, we actually we were able to engage all the targets. Uh, probably didn't get all the points, but we got the targets. Uh, and we did complete it in the five minute time frame. So I'm real pleased with what we do. Communication skills are a must. Rick has to learn how to communicate. Horrible communication skills. You gotta learn how to fucking call your target. Yeah, he's gotta learn how to hit his target. Me. Keep shooting over top of him. So, yeah. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Poor little Free fella. Rick. Poor little Free fella. Rick. Anyway, like a lot it. of guys out here. Uh, about out of a YouTube fan out right here. These guys are out right here shooting and kicking ass and taking names. So, a lot of fun. We got a lot of Rangers. Uh, Russian supply. Russian yeah. supply. National Guard. Yeah. Yeah. Russian, go. Chinese, Asian. You better not get out shot by me because yeah. I'll talk shit. We have a Russian influence. Russia, 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 Russia. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm not colluding this We have the though. next stage. Yeah, it's not colluding. Next stage is right up there, so we're just waiting for those guys to finish it up. But uh, it was real nice. The, um, this is my range card system right here, and I've got a uh, dry marker pen. Those were the ranges that were given to us, 357, 453, and 478. Uh, yeah, like targets were inside the vehicle and one sitting outside the vehicle. Uh, one passenger seat, one driver's seat, one by the rear door. So it was a lot of fun engaging all those things. Would love to be able to videotape this stuff, but literally it's, it's impossible with what's going on. So anyway, let's, uh, we'll uh, give you an after active review on the next one. Here we go. So that last one, Rick and I did good. We got 10 out of the whole targets, out of like 50 or whatever it was. What's up, man? What's up? Anyway, going back down. We're gonna set up over here and then uh, have some more fun. And overall, man, it, it was it's getting to be a fun day. Uh, learning a lot about how to set up a uh, stage and then finding out all the things that we're doing wrong so far. But I will tell you this: there is no perfect way to do it. That's for sure. So anyway, hopefully by the end of this whole thing. Ricky and I will have that Doing all figured good. out. Well, As you can see, we're still up in the tower section. This thing's like 10 right. stories high. And, uh, loads of fun. All right, see you guys in a bit. That last stage went like shit. Uh, I forgot the zero of the turrets. What? I forgot the zero of the turrets. Yes, you did. Anyway. I've got the hit targets. So huh? That's all right. You did all right on this part. Ray and Tony did real good on his part. Uh, anyway, uh, our offers, round, we had to shoot it twice. But, uh, we called a ceasefire, and unfortunately, we went to the pistol right, we were rifle station, and we didn't call ceasefire as we were getting ready to pull the trigger. So we had to shoot that part. The reason for this is like a 10 story building, so shooting out of all sides of it. And uh, we had to go up to the top floor, to the top mezzanine, in house, all the way back down to the fourth floor. And now I think we're on the seventh floor. So this is a hell of a work. That's some shit. Here we go. 
All right, guys, so uh, stage four of the day. And uh, it was pretty unique in that uh, they actually give us the, uh, here's my stuff right here, our, uh, our dope, not a dope, but you get to give us the range and uh, kind of a certain area. But what we had to do was shoot from the second floor through that window out to about 500 yards and different targets that were just uh, quarter size Ipsic targets. They were like uh, 10 inches wide, eight, something like 16 inches dead, or whatever it was. Anyway, we got a good group of guys, man. We're having fun. Uh, I think we're gonna do one more stage for the day. Hopefully it is uh, 3.30. Everybody's worn out. This thing, look at this place. Oh yeah. Really neat. And that was our shooting location was up right up there yesterday. But anyhow, we're getting ready to roll on to the uh, next station. Uh, I reckon I did okay on this one. We probably hit about 50% of the target on that. So it's been a lot of fun. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. Okay, so this is, uh, what stage is this, five? This is our fifth stage. This is our whatever stage. We got one more stage. Make it Guys over there shooting. But uh, I'll tell you this, man. This is a wore my ass out today. This is an ass kicker. You know that guy right there. Uh, this was probably, I hate to say this, one of our better stages. At least it was mine. I actually hit my heart. I don't know. I don't know if we. I don't know. We'll find out. I, it'll give me an excuse to go home early if we can't walk up to the table to grab something. I have no target. All right. Y'all be good. Okay, so it was getting a little dark. We uh, finished up that stage, and then uh, I think everybody decided to call it a day. We're going to take up stage six in the morning. Me and my partner, we kicked ass and took names today, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> with the targets That's right. that we did hit. Yeah. They rung with made, an amazing ring. They made ding ding noises. They made ding ding noises. So anyway, we're uh, walking back. Hopefully get some dinner. Get something to drink. Relax. And I got a, my back massager at the hotel. This is going to be awesome. Let's see. There's Cameron Hayes. Hey. hey. There's Mike. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and there, there we go. Anyway, we're having a lot of fun. Uh... And we weren't even in the sun today. Look at that. Sunburns hell. So we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, guys. Good boy 32 here. Check it out. We are on day two. Let me tell you something, man. We're going to be, uh, we shot five stages yesterday. Uh, we were one shy of finishing the day up. So we're going to finish that up first thing this morning. And then we got two more stages. Supposed to be out of here by uh, 1,500 hours uh, today after awards and everything else. Uh, yesterday, Ricky Poo and I did okay. Don't do that. Chase them around. We did all right. Um, could have done a lot better. These two guys did pretty good. Love that you. And we're actually having a great time. Um, but you know, you you put pour your heart and soul in those things and getting ready for it and everything else. And it's just one of those things, man. Things if they uh, work out about as good as they can. Soup sandwich. Uh, yeah. Shit train. It wasn't, a, <laughs> train it wasn't exactly a shit train, but uh, <laughs> it. Good. Uh, Close. Close. But, but there's a, there's a, uh, about eight or nine uh, Porta Johns lined up right there, and I, that's what our train is looking like these days. But uh, not really. We're doing all right. Could do better, but we could always do better, right? So getting ready to uh, it's misting right now. I'm gonna cover my equipment and uh, we'll time go, to go play. Time to go let's, shoot let's something. Still get crazy. Y'all be good. All right. So here we are. We're gonna start the first stage of the day. We're gonna go up on a roof and uh, shoot across it. That's there it is. That's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, I can't wait to post this stuff. A lot of fun. There's Anton, the Russian. So, anyhow, uh, here we go. All right, so on that last stage, uh, we actually thought we did horrible, but we scored the second highest in our squad. Uh, pistol targets were really, really small. Rifle, rifle was not bad. Hold on. All right, well. That was a cool stage. We had to run up, shoot off of the stairs to about 118 yards. Then we had to run across the roof with all of our gear, shoot pistol down below to a plate rack, hanging plates uh, that were actually hanging at an angle. So you only saw like a third of the, of the plate itself. You come back, shoot off the top of some pipe uh, out to like 300, 400 yards, 
I'll tell you what, Rick did a great job on that one. I hit a couple of them, but not too, as many as I would like to. Anyway, that was probably one of our better stages. Uh, so I think we're going to finish halfway decent on this thing. We'll see. We're finally figuring out how to get it right and uh, to work as a team. Uh, there's a lot more involved with uh, the communications and learning. So on the next one, I'm sure we're going to do a lot better. Here we go. we got one more stage to do. We're done. All right, guys. Good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here with a... This young man right here just graduated from uh, Marine Corps Officer Canada School. Looking forward to pinning some bars on that young man here. And this guy right here is a, have you made, you're still a second lieutenant? I am, actually promotable. Butterball promotable, okay, very good. This guy right here came all the way from Arkansas to shoot down here, very cool. And then uh, you guys met this guy before, we were talking VMGR252, excellent. There's some ranger, ranger fellas over here. I don't know if they're out on film. Or not. Anyway, so uh, this is it, man. This is the uh, prize venue at the Sniper's Unknown. A lot of cool folks over here. I'm going to breeze through it. There's some prize tables back there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think Rick and I did halfway decent. We probably finished in the lower third, <laughs> which is okay with me. I mean, after this whole weekend, I really don't care. But in any case, uh, it's been a hell of a time. Let's walk over here. Uh, I got you. I'm going to introduce you to uh, a really cool guy. This is Tony Marfioni. Marfion. Hey, Marfion. 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 So, anyway, he is the gentleman who brought the. Uh, what's that little knife company you have there? Microtech. Microtech. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. And they said, You are fired. I am fired. Start over. Start over. No, I can't do this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dakota Boy 32. Check it out. We are here with Tony. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dakota Boy 32. Check it out. We are here with Tony Marfion. There you go. Now, that's. Microtech. Oh, look at that. That's a sex job. I'm just the guy that says, Check it out. All right. So, anyway, yeah. Microtech is my favorite knife manufacturer. But look at the cool stuff here, man. This is the table. And those do light up, pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff back there, a lot of red shirts from uh, down there at the McDill Air Force Base. And uh, having fun. So that being said, uh, we'll get back to you, and I got this cool hat, uh, when we uh, fi figure out where we place. Anyway, we'll be back. See ya. All right, guys, here we are, man. This is the uh, finals, and we just got the scores back. And uh, Rick and I scored, uh, we were 38th place out of uh, about 54, 55 shooters, uh, teams. So 38 after 50 plus teams is not bad for the first go around. Um, and anyway, I think that was good. And I'm looking forward to uh, picking out something on that tables over there. So um, you're going to have to watch this guy right here. His video is coming out to figure out where they placed. Anyway, I just want to say thanks, Rick. You're my hero, man. We did fun. We had fun. We had fun. And uh, I tell you what, we learned a lot. It's going to be a lot of fun on the upcoming event. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series. I think you see a lot of shooting. And it just wasn't a whole lot of fun. But uh, Cameron Hayes finished third overall. And um, congratulations to him. But anyway, y'all be good. Thanks. All right, guys, that was it, man. Sniper's unknown. She's in the works. She's done. Whew. I'm glad it's over and done with. Now we can start talking about pandemic. Uh, we're talking about the election coming up and other things that are happening. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed that. It gives you a little insight. And I will tell you this, uh, Tony, uh, Rick, Ray, it was a total joy to be with you guys during this thing. Uh, all the guys that were there in Squad 4, uh, all the guys having a little barbecue in the parking lot of the hotel. And it was fun to see the camaraderie. It really was, and we enjoyed sharing that with all you guys. If y'all have any questions about Snipers Unknown, uh, you can go to snipersunknown.com. Uh, uh, they also have an Instagram uh, page over there. I want to give a real quick shout out to Cali Key. They uh, provided all the ammunition uh, for me. Uh, JP Rifles, Manning and Son. Uh, We've got uh, Trigger Tech, uh, Ultradyne, um, who else? Primary Arms, Spur, 
I actually bought the spur thing, but primary arms, you know, uh, that scope did a great job and we just, I banged the living snot out of that rifle. It, it got a workout this time around and optics planted. You guys were instrumental in providing the uh, handguard and the upper receiver for that. And I really appreciate that. But anyway, that's it. Well, always end them like this, man. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution. It was written by our founding fathers. I'm Coda Boy 32 and I am out of here. Until next year, Snipers Unknown, we'll be back. And we got a better game plan on what we got going on. And hopefully, I'll be running suppressed by then. Y'all be good.